In today's segment of Technology Marvels of Things the Size of a Quarter, we bring you this guy, uh, Flick, F-L-I-C. It's a button. Specifically, it's a Bluetooth low energy device. Uh, recently, a successful million dollar Indiegogo campaign um, by a small group of clever Swedish engineers. Uh, it talks to your cell phone or tablet through Bluetooth low energy and um, lets you control things. Control the world, or blow up the world, whatever you want to do. You can do it in three different ways. I'll show you that. Here, this button here is, uh, we have to allow us to control the music in the house. You don't need to be near any particular device. and You can just push this and control the sonos. For example, if I push it once, you'll see the volume control go up. If I push it twice, you'll see it go down. If I hold it down, it'll skip to the next song. So three different button pushes uh, allows for each button. Um, there's another button right here. You can't see it very well, but this one controls our Nest thermostat. Push it twice, bumps the heat up to normal temperature. Push it once, bumps it down to 60. That chatter is coming from the home automation box over there that uh, I had that particular button connected to um, so that it gives some audio feedback. I have another button right here next to this conventional light switch and you can see uh, what it does. If I push it once you'll see the living room lights. Well, you won't see it because it's daytime but it toggles the living room lights on or off. If I push it twice you would see the outdoor lights go on and off which you can't see, but if I hold it down, you'll, you'll see the chandelier lights toggle on and off. So um, scatter those things around your house, uh, and you have yet another way of controlling things. Very convenient. Um, so uh, the app that comes with this, let me show you here, allows you to control it um, it has some built-in uh, applications of um, a lot of uh, things you might recognize. There's Spotify, Sonos, uh, there's um, If This Then That, and most uh, powerfully it lets you uh, call a generic URL address so you can hack it into anything that supports uh, RESTful API calls. Um, which is what I use to control the monitoration system. Uh, so it works great. I think there's really only two limitations I've come across. One is it's got the standard Bluetooth low energy distance uh, limitation. I think I found about two-thirds of the length of the house, 100 feet or so. And the second is uh, when I was adding my sixth device, I got a warning that uh, Maybe this might be a Bluetooth low energy uh, limit, but it says I'm not going to be too happy if you add a whole lot more devices. I don't know what the hard code limit is, uh, if it's 6 or 7 or 10, but you can kind of work around that by uh, programming the button to, um, y you can spread the buttons amongst your various cell phones or tablets, uh, typically connecting to the one that's closest to where you want to keep the button. So, easy. Not too expensive, um, a lot of fun. That's it for today. Next time.